The longest continuous battle of the Seminole Wars took place along this stretch of Florida's Apalachicola River. It was here on December 15, 1817, that more than 1,000 Seminole, Creek, and African or Black Seminole warriors attacked two supply ships. The vessels were on their way to Fort Scott, a U.S. Army post in southwest Georgia. Guarded by troops from the 4th and 7th Infantries, they carried ammunition, weapons, uniforms, and other necessities. The Creek Prophet Josiah Francis led the large American Indian Army that tried to block the passage of the ships. He attacked as the vessels entered the sharp bend between Ochesee Bluff in today's Calhoun County and the commanding heights of Toria State Park in Liberty County. The warriors attacked with rifle fire from both banks of the Apalachicola, killing two soldiers and wounding 13 in the first day of fighting. The ships were forced to drop anchor and remain pinned down in midstream for two full weeks. The attack quickly became a siege. The warriors were unable to approach and capture the ships, but continued to fire on them. The soldiers and sailors on board could not show themselves without being targeted. The siege was finally broken when the military used a keelboat to tow the larger supply ships around the bend and out of danger. This movement of the flotilla, combined with the arrival of a sudden cold front, led the prophet and his warriors to abandon their attack. They retreated to their villages, and the longest continuous battle of the Seminole Wars came to an end. At Ochesi Bluff in Calhoun County, Florida, I'm Dale Cox for ExploreSouthernHistory.com.